my crystal lovers. We are going to be unboxing my Crystal Council box for the month of August today. Crystal Council is another crystal subscription box. I will have that information down below. It is slightly newer for me to be unboxing. So far I really like it, so I'll continue to get them for a little while so I can show you folks what this is all about. Let's get into it. Ooh, right on top we've got this very pretty feather. Um, there's a scroll in here that tells us what all this is. And this is a Gwynny Fowl Wing Feather. These meditation tools are ethically harvested from a farm in Quebec. It said it is a byproduct of the food industry and contains no dye. It says it's humanely done, FDA approved. This is good to waft smoke from your sage, your Palo Santo, candles. So um, this is good to, you know, dust your smoke around. Very handy tool to have if you smudge and sage a lot. Let me go like this so we can lay these items out. Um, we're talking, let's see, let's try to go. Okay. I wanted to take care of everything that was on this little card first. And it says intention candle. Well, I should open this up and make sure it's a candle. It is. I'm going to smell it real quick. Mmm. I got lemon. Uh... Very strong lemon. Transformation. 100% soy wa wax, lemongrass essential oil with lavender, lemon peel, intention candle. So that's why I got lemon. We've got a something in there. It might just be a, just a clear quartz of some sort. Some lavender up in there. Let's see. It just says at the end of your candle you can keep your new crystal. Um... I might be able to dig mine out before I light it, which might be best. And it says, this is just an intention candle. So set your intention before lighting your candle and meditate with your crystal around you. It gives you some caring for your candle. It tells about, this is a hand poured candle from a North Carolina workshop. It smells fantastic. It's gonna be something I'm gonna burn Probably through in the daytime when I want a little bit of pep because lemon tends to wake you up and give you a little energy. So that's nice. Nice little meditation sticker. If you hear a cat in the background, that is Fizz Gig, my cat. She's having a hard day because it's raining out and she can't go outside. So she's upset. see this very long scroll which I'm not going to read a whole lot from if you're interested in all this information you might as well get your own box but it's very personalized you take a little um, quiz at the beginning of the month and then they curate the box towards what you what you want to work on so I've already taken my quiz and I forget what I answered tell you the truth but it tells you about what the box is going to be set for um, and in each thing you get, they have a nice little write-up about what it does, which is very nice. Hematite, I can already tell that. So before I get into the scroll, hematite is very good for grounding. And it's good for if you have blood disorders. That's the word hema. Now on their little scroll, it is telling us that it attracts and pulls down positive energy and opportunities. It's a very, it, it is a grounding stone and keeps us aligned and focused on physically what is in front of us. And hematite is a very powerful stone when it comes to keeping you focused at, on the task at hand. And hematites are very, like I said, they're very grounding. They're very good to work with. This is one of the first stones I did meditate with. And I think it's really good to start with a stone that's not intimidating, like a hematite. 
Okay, what is this guy? Can't tell to the red bag. Ooh. Uh, it's very light. It feels like jet. Maybe? I don't know. Jet is black and very light. No, this is sun... Shunjite. I never know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sunjite only has one known locality in Lake Onega, on Onja, O N E G A, region of Russia. But it looks a lot like jet and feels like jet. If anybody's interested. Anyway, so this is a strongest stone for purifying one's aura and environment. Um, it has naturally occurring antioxidants. I did not know that. I like to learn no stuff. All right, put this one off to the side. And this one's not in any wrapper, but we can identify this right off the bat, can't we? Because it looks and feels like calcite. Calcite's very fun because it has this waxy feeling. It's nice just to rub your hands across. By the way, I apologize for my nails. I'm a normal human being and I do things, so they don't always look perfect. But let's read a little bit about this. I believe it's orange. I guess it could be yellow. It is orange calcite, and it says it is a stone to use or carry when trying to unlock one's creative energies. I know orange is very good when you're trying to get creative. It just says it's very positive and uplifting to relight that fire within very nice. I happen to be filming in my art space, so I might just keep this guy down here to help for creativity. And yes, I think I'm going to do that. Fairy stone! I think this is going to be round, maybe multiple round shapes, and it should be pretty light. Yes, there we go. Okay, our little scroll. Let me get it up over here so you can see it better. It says, fairy stones, sometimes known as goddess stones, are usual minerals composed of calcium, carbonate, and clay. Fairy stones have been used as good luck and protection talismans for centuries. Good for good luck. So yeah, it's very smooth and very round, and usually you get them oval. And sometimes it has more, a couple other oval shapes along with it. Yeah, very cute, very nice. We have just a quartz. Okay, nice little tiny clear quartz cluster. Are you seeing that good enough? Do I need to put something behind here? I think you can see it. Clear quartz is very good as just a general crystal. It's good for everything just heightens vibrations around you and when you're doing crystal grids if you don't have enough stones of a particular kind to go all the way around or you're missing a stone substitute clear quartz or selenite it works just as well as a substitute but let's see what the old scroll has to say about it it says quartz is the most abundant mineral on the planet earth it is known as a natural enhancer that will strengthen the powers of itself along with any other crystal it is next to the stone will also assist in accomplishing their goals, dreams, desires, as it ampl amplifies intentions that you set your mind to. Yes, this is a good all-over stone. You know, it's good for detoxi detoxification. Yeah, and if you don't know what other stone to carry around with you, clear, clear quartz is always a good option. This little sticker, I think, says Kambaba Jasper. Jaspers come in all different kinds of colors, varieties. There's picture jasper, red jasper. Sometimes you can get some very interesting looks out of your jasper. Hmm. This looks, it's very green. We've got like a moss green and a dark green. If this was polished up, it'd look really neat. I would think it would almost look like malachite once it was polished. 
put that little sticker back on there because I don't have any of this. Well, of course it's not going to stick. These scrolls are very hard to read off of if anybody was interested. Kambaba Jasper is extremely old stone dating back to 3 billion years ago. This crystal helps one achieve emotional balance throughout the day and helps one cool in times of distress. The powers are strong enough to finally put back in the driver's seat of your life. Simple things such as socializing, working with colleagues, and even forming long-lasting relationships will feel natural and easier than ever. Okay, this helps you feel comfortable with yourself and your surroundings. The last specimen in here is Chrysoprase. Chrysoprase. A greenish sort of stone. Chrysoprase is a green variety of Chalcedony that contains minor traces of nickel. Ah, fantastic. I did not know that. This crystal also activates and unlocks our solar plexus, solar plexus chakra. This is very unique in the ability co to connect with the heart and the solar plexus together. Okay, so that's very cool. I can't get my little sticker off. All right, so that is what I've received in this month's Crystal Council box. Now, to be honest with you, I pay over $60 for this box, and this is not $60 worth of stones and crystals. So in previous boxes, it was worth it because the specimens were very large, even larger than this. Um, all of them were. And, you know, the little things that we get along with it, that's okay. But I'm more interested in how big these crystals are. And that's the one reason I was getting this box is because this, what we were getting, you're getting less than the Enchanted Crystal box, but what you got was bigger. So this was a little disappointing. This is not worth $60 to me. So I will give it one more chance, but if my next box is a little weak like this one is, then I might not get it because it is very expensive to get month to month. All right, folks. Well, there is August's Crystal Council box. I hope you enjoy these kind of videos. If you do, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.